Hey everyone, last week I talked about the mistakes I made in my mini verb module. In this video, let's go through how I try to make sure that the next one works properly. One problem that happened last time was that I didn't test the system on a breadboard as a whole first before I pushed through with the PCB. I tested the parts of the circuit individually but never did what's called an integration test. A lot of the pros can probably get away with it, but for me who still has little experience with PCB design, it helps a lot to build on a breadboard first to confirm. I was using SMT components for this build though and I didn't want to stock the through-hole versions. So I decided to print these SOT-23-6 adapters using PCBWay who's also sponsoring this video. This was the first time I tried V-score panelization. The boards came in panels of 10 by 8. I ordered 5 panels which turns out to be 400 boards. I had no idea how to do this at first so let me share it with you in case some of you are curious about how it works. I marked the score lines on KiCad using the user.1 layer. I included that layer when I exported the files. And then renamed the Gerber file to vscore. In my PCB order, I told them where the vscore layer is through the remarks section. I then placed my order as I normally would. I realized later that PCBWay charges extra if your VCAT lines exceed 10, so a 6x6 panel would have been cheaper. Now back to the build. I used the SOT adapters to try out the circuit on a breadboard. This was the schematic that worked. Now that I have a working circuit, I built it out on a perf board. This way, I get to play with the knobs and try out the ergonomics. I made 3D printed panels using the Europanel Maker library that I just released a couple of weeks ago for OpenSCAD. It's still in its early stages of development, but it's all open source. The idea is to have a parametric way to make Eurorack panel layouts. To use it, all you need to do is import the library, set the width in HP, Set the title, the position and labels of pods, jacks, and LEDs. Finally, call the generate panel function. You'll get a preview of where the parts will be. When you're done, export the file into STL, load it into your slicer, and then queue it for printing. Here's what the final product looks like. It took me a while, but the panels are now pretty sturdy, especially considering I'm only printing in plain PLA. I've already been working on documentation and examples. i add a link to the repo in the description. After printing the panels and assembling the perf board build, I finally got to jam with it. The CV input works great. Here, I use it to modulate the jitter effect for the reverb output. One thing I'd like to have though would be some sort of indicator for the CV input. Right now, the LED is just a static red. We still have a lot of free pins on the daisy though, so maybe I'll put in uh, an RGB LED that can be controlled through software. I've already ordered some parts on Theta and I'm just waiting for it to arrive. That would be all for now. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring this project. And also thanks to Electrosmith for sending me the daisy seeds. If you'd like to help me keep building stuff like this, please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can have access to my Discord where I post behind the scenes stuff. I'll add the link to that in the description. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.